in life there are celebrations and when the time to celebrate is here make the most of it there are times there are no reasons to celebrate but who would know if you choose to celebrate even though there are no reasons to celebrate who, who would really really fault you for it really many times there's no reason to celebrate i mean tell me the reason to celebrate when in order to pay for your finals of high school your dad had to take the only tv in the house which was a 10 inch 12 inch black and white tv and with many of his favorite clothes and my mom's i had to take it to the pawn shop to get the money to pay for the high school final exam and it wasn't even enough he still had to add money to it it was time for me to get into college which was 1988 the same year i finished high school i bought an admission form into the college that i wanted to go into for accounting and my dad after having spoken with many of his professor friends and several people bought an admission form for fine art in the same college by the time i finished fine art which was two years after my dad had passed so um, I finished and then went into, you know, HND, which is a higher form where you specialize now. I specialized painting. So he had passed by then. So the pressure was even greater. You know, you're dealing with that. You're dealing with the academics and it was, it was rough. It was tough. I had moved out of home since about what? Final year in college, about 18, 19. So I never went back home, you know, after that time, because I was just, I need to get out there and do something, you know, and create more space. Because there are five kids. I'm the first. My mom is still there. So create more space and everybody lives in the same room. Art is not easy. You know, I told my daughter when she was thinking of doing art, because I kind of thought, is she running away from other things to run to art because she thinks it's easy? So that that thing you're about to walk into is tough. I told her, you need to brace yourself. For me, painting is creating problems and finding ways of solving them. Every step of a painting is a problem created and is being solved. But the rewarding part is having a setup, a show where I'm just sitting there and people come in front of the pieces, have conversations with the work and you see them react as in facial expressions, um, discussion, see them stoop, squint, you know, walk back, go forward. It is incredibly rewarding to see that you're getting through to people that way. Not just there to just see the colors, but they're there to have a conversation, to, to get impacted with life. I paint life. I, you know, there are several experiences in, in life that you want to share. And the fact that I'm privileged to be able to paint is my own way of putting my voice out there into the society, being able to communicate what I feel what I agree with. I don't have to carry signs and march the street, no. But I can also talk. And you would know when I'm talking because I use my paintings. I, I just always hope that the, the feeling of enjoying life, turning the joy that you have into a thing of celebration for yourself and everybody around you is shown through my painting.